Dude, I got Geralt of Rivia in this pack. I got Gerald of Rivia right there. Look at him. I got Ghoul. I got Griffin. Griffin's got five attack. Mike, what about your pack? You're playing with the monster pack. Oh, so I got the bad guy. Sweet. It's yeah. upside down. Full pack. You don't <laughs> have to... First. Look how many vendors I went to and special quests I did. Dennis Cranmer. Don't recall meeting him throughout The Witcher 3, but... D Dennis Cranmer. He looks... I think he's a dwarf. I got this seems like a lot easier than in-game where you have to uh, <laughs> yeah. collect yeah. these one by one. Clear weather. I did not I do have clear to weather. sword fight a <laughs> goblin for these. How much Gwent did you play in The Witcher 3? The bare minimum. I played loads. Yeah, it was good. Great. I just, I'd rather be killing ghouls and stuff. Really? Yeah. Than collecting a sick fiend. <laughs> or a Mahakaman. <laughs> fiend. Or a Mahakaman. This is the, uh, this is the, <laughs> the boxed copy of The Witcher 3's um, expansion pack, Hearts of Stone, which I love because you literally open up the box and then inside is a download code for the game. I was going to say, so the, the expansion pack is, is not actually a game, it, it's no. the hard card game, that, that's the new expansion pack. Yeah, yep. there's a piece of card here with a code on it, which I can't show you folks, and then you basically have a thing that has a bunch of Gwent in it. Two full packs, it's got the, uh, I guess, the monster set, and, oh, I forget the name of what you call this, the main set, whatever it's called. Starter deck? Yeah, whatever, I forget I the name. I got Torrential Rain. <laughs> Torrential rain. But apparently in the Northern Kingdom, spears fall when it rains as well. Yes. Uh, you got to be careful. Cloudy with a chance Look at these things. Javelins. I love this. Look at all this, like, stuff. So, like, Gwent. It's, like, so complicated. My favorite thing is that they give you two packs mm -hmm. because if they give you one, you'd have to find someone else who also bought yeah. the box, the expansion pack. And you can easily divvy these up into, like, Mm -hmm. Two people. Like, you could chop this pack in half easy and still have an absolute massive set. And, uh, and even though this is, like, a physical version that you can play, they, they've said before that they don't want to turn this into its own game. Yeah. Mostly because, like, some of these rare cards make your, your deck kind of... OP. Yeah. I know. Geralt of Rivia has, like, something stupid like 16. <laughs> so, like, that's, that's, like, that's, that's, that's ridiculously OP. It's but like we're not here to talk about real-world Gwent. There's more to this expansion there than is, Gwent? There is. The expansion also comes... With a video game, <laughs> um, we played a bunch of uh, Hearthstone Honey last week. Hearthstone, uh, Hearts? No, not Hearthstone. Oh. It's not Hearthstone. Oh, that's it's dangerous. Hearts of Stone. Hearts, hearts of Stone. Hearts of Stone. I know. Confused. Look, I know it's a card game, and it says Hearts <laughs> and Stone on it, but it's not Hearthstone. Hearts of Stone. The next Hearth. expansion, Magic Gathering. Yes, Magic Gathering. <laughs> coming, coming Ga to. Gathering of the Magics. Oh God damn it! Yeah, they probably should have thought of that actually. Uh, but we played some uh, Hearts of Stone. Last week, yeah, uh, we played for maybe two, three hours. Yeah, and what was interesting was that we uh, sort of split uh, during our time doing it. Uh, before I talk about the weird stuff that I saw that there we have no beer all off, uh, <laughs> tell me about your experience. What do you think of uh, Hearts of Stone? I liked it a lot, actually. The, we played about yeah, like you said, two, three hours of about what's ten hour total expansion mm -hmm. they said. But again, it's a big world, so you'll probably be wandering off the beaten path once in a while. Um, but basically, you just initiate it by going to a bulletin board where they have this uh, Witcher contract for mm. like to hunt a beast down, and you keep hearing about it, and you end up going into the sewers, as you can see here, and you know Geralt being himself is ready for to kill something, <laughs> and so was I. And in fact, what I liked about it, this boss fight, and a, uh, there was a couple more right off the bat. I felt yeah. like I think I did three in mm -hmm. the first two hours, yeah. and they were all interesting. Um, I played this one on hard mode and barely figured it out. Um, after the, the, the sort of, uh, it's a massive, well, we, let's not say it for the sake yeah, of spoilers, it's, actually. It's a cool boss. It definitely, you have to fight it differently than you might just like a regular ghoul. It's, it's not, it doesn't fall into those categories that the old ones did, just yeah. like a ghoul or a drowner or... Or a flying like, beast or, a or something, thing. yeah. This is totally new. It was, it was tough, actually. I died once. Hmm. I think I played on the normal difficulty. Yeah, I, mean, I, I, I were, just about did it. I did it on hard, and I just yeah. about did it. Does this um, pick up after the, the main game's finished, or is this kind of in between? So this picks up, you have to be, is it level 30? Yeah, I recommend it around 30. Rec and most of the bosses, I was, or most of the enemies I was fighting were like 32, 33, and by the time I was finished, it was starting to creep towards 34 to 35, a couple of hours into it. Um, so it's that you can go into it at any stage, but you'll never be able to complete that early mission unless you're... That's like almost like the like difficulty gate they have. And in fact, later on, I had story stuff happen, which definitely happened later in the game, mm -hmm. referred to. So it's like built into it, basically. Mm -hmm. So you need to be around 30 or so, um, like in the last third of the, the game, for instance. 
So this is also the part I did. I okay. don't know if you saw this part. No, this is like the ghost thing. Yeah, so uh, Old Geard Von Everick, he's the guy who originally gives you the quest. He says, he gives you like these two seemingly mundane objectives. Yes. You did one, I did the other. Yours sounded way cooler, although mine was pretty entertaining. It's like the crux of this is that you have to complete a certain, for some reason you have to complete a list of things for this guy. And what's pretty cool about it is they all sound like boring fetch quests. It's like, take yes. my brother out for a night on the town. And you're like, <laughs> yeah. seriously, like you, he could just as easily go to a tavern by himself and yeah. drink alone. But as it turns out, that's a little more complicated. Again, I don't. it's very story heavy, so I don't want to spoil it. Yeah. But trust me, it's, it's a lot more entertaining than it's that. It's very well set up, yeah. actually. And then you did one as well. Yeah, I did one, which, I, again, I don't want to get into the nitty gritty of it because it was certainly fun to, to find out. But it basically... The mission that I took on was essentially a heist from Grand Theft Auto V, where I needed to get inside of a building, and I was sent on a bunch of missions to get the crew to do so. So there was a no, there was a way to get into this building, but I needed to have like uh, you know uh, explosive expert, mm -hmm. and it gave me like details on these two rich characters, which I could one of which I could pick up again. And I also needed to have like a sort of an infiltration expert. And there was like this cool gymnast lady and this other person, this like um, troll or dwarf or something that I could also um, hire. So like it immediately went, okay, this is all you have to do, go out and find these people. And in the limited time we had, I went out and find two of them um, to try and like see what they were like. And then they had these very interesting, like unique moments happen to them. So were you playing with them? Like did they like play along with you and you got to see how they're uh abilities kind of would help you in battle or, or in the culmination of this heist? Yeah, you had to kind of convince them to come with you. And some of them were, you know, were having their own problems and maybe you need to help. Or like I had one who was freaking out because uh, he had a domestic problem at home, let's say. <laughs> and then I think you could probably talk him out of it, but I bet living crap out of him instead. Uh, and he decided to work for me. So like... <laughs> It felt like a really clever setup. And also, there was earlier in it, there was a part where I was basically in an auction. And because I was, uh, I had, a, uh, I guess, a, a, an account that said a project had given to us which had lots of money on it, I basically outbid everyone. But like, there was all these interesting, unique dialogue things that happened during the auction that could uh, let you know information about the stuff that was on offer. And you weren't even there for the auction, you were there for a completely different reason. But it was like, it's just everything about what I played over the first a like couple of hours of this felt rich. Felt like really interesting boss fights, really unique situations I didn't see during my time playing Wild Hunt. Uh, and I really liked the setup of the main quest with, with that antagonist as well. Yeah, Von Everick, yeah. Old Geard. Yeah, essentially... Great character. Yeah, he was. <laughs> we can't talk about There's why, so much I want to talk oh about my god, it's so cool. And we only played like a fifth of this expansion. Yeah, yeah. We, I, Initially, we had talked on the lobby a week or two ago about when we're going to get into this, and I originally said maybe like early next year if they bring <laughs> yeah. it into the next expansion, but now that I've played it, mm -hmm. I, it's definitely on my list of things I want to play among like, you know, those big AAA games coming out this fall, because essentially what you did was like Geralt's Eleven, or like, it was like, <laughs> it was like a, the heist yeah, in yeah, yeah. this fantasy setting. I kind of went to a wedding, and it was like a mm -hmm. sitcom, but both seemed, mine was entertaining as well, but... Mm. Now I really just want to see the heist, and then there's that other quest that neither of us really went too far into. That yeah, um, there's more stuff. I also did a side quest that was optional that was in this expansion pack, which was pretty interesting as well. Yeah, the, um, uh, this girl kept calling me puss peepers, mm -hmm. probably because I'm cat's eyes or whatever. <laughs> she kept calling me puss peepers, peepers, and Geld was not happy with it. Uh, that was really cool. Uh, and then there's a bunch of other stuff as well. There's new abilities, um, a lot of which we didn't unlock because they kind of gave us all the points, but we just sort of hurriedly put them all in and. Um, there's a couple of new uh, yeah, special magic abilities, new um, uh, items as well. Uh, quite a lot in there. And we met Shawnee for the first time in yes. Witcher 3. Yeah, He's of a course. Cool character. Which uh, I guess fans of the series will remember, and she seems very interesting. I liked your explanation on the video. She's kind of smarter than Geralt. Yeah, kind of like, she very much so. And like, it's kind of, she has a humility to her, so she kind of talks down to him, but not in the. Like a not, she's not looking down on him. She's yeah. just trying to like mm -hmm. ease him through it, which is kind of it's an interesting dynamic, I think. Yeah, the dialogue's awesome, especially because the brother of Von Everick that you bring out for the night, she joins you at certain. Oh, parts. really? So it's just her brother being really crass and crude, and like just like kind of like hitting on her the entire time. Yeah. And Geralt's kind of like, all right, just chill out, stop <laughs> being a jerk, and then. But she just the whole time doesn't even give him the time of day. She doesn't care. Yeah. She just ignores it. But yeah, you sense that Geralt's kind of. Picking up on the fact that he's way outpaced by her in terms of intelligence, so she kind of takes it easy on him in terms mm. of verbal back and forth, which is kind of funny to see 
him not the boss of the conversation. Yeah, I'm definitely going to jump in earlier to this as well, I think, uh, based on I'm playing mm -hmm. that. I'm, I'm, I'm powering through my Geralt at the moment. Hey, Justin, you played a little bit of The Witcher 3. You played like 10, yeah, 15 Yeah, I got about 10, 15 hours through it. Uh, and I think it's interesting that you guys mentioned, like, it's going to be such a busy holiday, but, yeah. but that you're still drawn into this world. That, like, there's both enough content and that it's interesting enough that you want to go back into The Witcher 3. And I, like, oh, I'm st I still have to finish The Witcher 3. This is going to be a... A busy end of the year because we also have a lot of big RPGs. Yeah, Fallout Four, like Fallout Four on itself, like that's just an intimidating thing to think about. Big time. Uh, it's out uh, October thirteenth, so not too far to wait uh, around that sort of twenty-five buck uh, mark, uh, depending if you're buying it online or at retail. Uh, yeah, so let us know what you think. Are you going to pick it up? Are you going to pick up this hot physical heart? Stone. <laughs> is that version. a special edition or is that every edition of the game? Uh, well, you can buy it digitally mm -hmm. and it doesn't have this. Oh. Uh, so, but if you buy this, so I imagine this probably costs a little bit more. Uh, but yeah, no disc included. It says right in the right in the top. PC download only. Uh, contains Hearts of Stone download code, two Gwent cards, 154 ca cards in total uh, with game tokens. So yeah, you're essentially just buying this. <laughs> What's it say? Reordain. Sure. Some elf. Reordain, is it? Reardon, mate. That's you an Irish you. name. Come on, you should know that. Gaelic Mike Mahardy. <laughs> My middle name's Irish Gaelic as what well. What is it? Ruan? 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 R-U-A-N-E. Ruan? Ruan, as yeah. Americans say. Yeah, it is Those Ruan. Americans. Yeah. <laughs> Those <laughs> dastardly Americans. Oh, oh yeah, it's Americans. Uh, for more weird uh, Gaelic surnames, check out The Witcher 3. Uh, Wild Hunt, Hearts of Stone, coming, like I said, October 13th. Um, and let us know if you're going to pick it up. Let us know if you're going to pick up the weird uh, Gwent version. Let us know if you're going to play Gwent with your friends uh, in the comments below.